Boats and harsh weather are never a great combo. Nothing drove this home more than The Perfect Storm, a movie from the year 2000 where George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg had a really wet day. Most boat crews are able to hightail it away from forecasts of big waves. George and Mark unfortunately couldn't. Well, now see information science can ascertain by cruising a drone boat into a hurricane. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. This is what it's like to be in the middle of the ocean during a Category 4 hurricane. Pretty terrifying and unsafe for any human being. But the data collected from this position is invaluable and can teach us a lot about how hurricanes form and intensify. And how was this footage even captured? With one of these, an autonomous unmanned sea craft envisioned by innovator Richard Jenkins, founder of a company called SailDrone. I met up with Richard in the Bay City of Alameda, California. Richard, what is SailDrone? Sail drone is a company that provides data from our oceans. So we do that by using these vehicles behind us, which we call sail drones, which are wind powered and solar powered vehicles that go into the ocean for six, 12 months at a time, collect data, send it back via satellite, and give that to our customers. How did the idea for sail drone arise? I set out to break the wind powered land speed record back in 1998. Finally broke the record outside of Vegas in 2009. And it was that wing system that evolved that made sail drone possible. So after I broke the record, came to the Bay Area, put it on a sailboat, set out to break the record of the first unmanned circumnavigation. So nothing has gone around the planet unmanned before. Everyone started to say, well, you know, if you can do that, it can do much more valuable things too, like collecting information and useful information. So that was kind of the trajectory. How was that data collected? So inside here, you have a kind of a composite thing, which is the base vehicle itself. Then you have all the smarts on it. So you have computers, you have batteries, you have solar, you have satellite communication technology. Then you have sensors, sensors in the wing, sensors in the keel. It's kind of the same sensors you'd find on a, a research vessel. Richard sail drones are referred to as maritime vehicles because they require no crew. So Albert, this is our latest hurricane drone. These drones are designed to go into the eye wall of a hurricane. This drone can survive in a hurricane. Absolutely. We sent five of these last year into the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico to actually try and intercept a hurricane. Intercept a Hurricane Sam, which is a Category 4 storm, recorded 135 mile an hour per wind. So when these storms make landfall, they're incredibly dangerous. They destroy a lot of property, or occasionally a lot of lives too. This is all about understanding the ocean, understanding the storms, and improving our numerical models to be able to give better warning to coastline communities. Now, something that's impacting me right now is what's in my eye line. What is that over there, Richard? So that is our biggest drone. That is called the Sail Drone Surveyor. 72 feet long, weighs 15 tons, and that is designed to get deep ocean bathymetry. So that is mapped to the seabed. Less than 20% of our planet's been mapped. So this is a vehicle that now can do that at a fraction of the cost of ships, and also a fraction of the carbon footprint. Sail Drone has a fleet of 100 vehicles whose data collection abilities monitor everything from ocean heat and carbon levels to illegal fishing. On the day we visited, 35 were deployed around the world. So it looks like Sail Drone 1079 is headed back to the state. Is there any way that they can kind of check and see if they can find a pair of sunglasses that I think I left around Miami? Hey, we'll keep an eye out for them. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>